camera is still tripping, still bouncing and waving as I drive. Uh, maybe this weekend I'll go and get it looked at again, pay money again to get it looked at for them just to tell me nothing's wrong with my hair. Like, I rolled it in those little like flexi rods and now I kind of look like somebody's mother, like with this hair. So, I don't know. I didn't really feel like trying to do anything else to it to change it. And um, I put argan oil in it like a very small amount in my hands and then I would just run it through my, my hair. And uh, it worked in some places and didn't work in others, but I didn't want to make it too oily because I literally just washed it, you know? So my hair has a fine line, like sometimes it can be kind of dry and then sometimes it's not and it doesn't need any extra. In a couple of weeks I will be going to New York. I am actually going to be speaking at a um, a uh, cosmetics chemist event um that is what i would prefer to be and i am in a completely different field and if i started off in that field i would start it from the bottom now mid but i wouldn't be here i'd still be at the bottom <laughs> so i'm really struggling with that uh as a career decision i love my job i have an amazing boss my coworkers are pretty cool like I'm comfortable, um, but there's just something about being comfortable that doesn't make my life feel like it could, it's being all that it kills me. Oh, you have so much potential, you have so much potential, you're so smart, you're so blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, I really don't feel like I'm maximizing all of that, you know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, my job requires thought and all that good stuff, but I feel like if I was passionate about it, like if it was something that makes me want to wake up in the morning and I loved it that much, I think I would give that much more to my job and I would be just unstoppable. I think I would be a freaking force. I'd live in my books. I would research like crazy, you know, but you know, I don't run late and then just say F it and leave work at, on time. Like if I'm running late, I'll stay late. So don't, y'all don't think I'm a slacker. My job is just really flexible. Like I can come in anytime from 7.30 to 8.30 and I'm okay. Um, just as long as I stay till 4.30 or 5.30, depending on what time I come in. Um, so yeah, I'm not like, I don't want you guys to think it's like cool to go to work late or anything like that. Cause it's really nice. Just got off work a little while ago. I'm headed to the uh, farmer's market because I am like, completely out of food and you guys know I'm trying to eat right so I'm headed to the farmers market to get some uh, fruits and vegetables and even like chicken and beef and all that stuff is there as well and it's all locally grown which is like really huge like if I could you know have my organic stuff be local then that's what I prefer because I know where it's coming from and I'm supporting farmers and things like that in my area my hair is still in my bantu knots because it's raining so hard that I didn't want to walk Jackson with my hair out because I knew it would get ruined. Um, so now I'm going to just take them out. So like during the work weeks, I can't really, you know, wear crazy makeup or dramatic makeup or anything like that because I do work in a business setting and to be taken seriously, you don't want to, um, you, you just don't want to do stuff like wear crazy makeup and stuff like that it's inappropriate for the workplace you know so on the during the week i can't really show you guys my face of the day because it's pretty much the same it's just like a neutral look. to go out for a night and it seems like you guys really really like that so i'm gonna keep it going um i'm gonna start doing this thing called my work weekend so, hashtag work weekend. i want you guys to start posting your pictures too so just make sure you hashtag it so that I can see it. Or um, if you don't, then I won't be able to see the hashtag. So um, I want it to be something that really becomes big on Instagram, like kind of like Throwback Thursdays did. And you know, everybody's pretty much sick of Throwback Thursday. So we gotta come up with something new. And that's why, you know, my sister and I were talking this morning and we were like, so I was like, well, why don't we call it Work Weekend? I'm gonna go into work. This vlog is over. It's done. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm juicing today. I just am doing a mean green. So I have apple, um, an apple, a half of a cucumber, um, some baby spinach, and some kale that I'm going to clean off and um, put them in my juicer 
uh, the spinach and the kale have to go in a blender because they don't juice but these two things go into the juicer because my blender won't be able to blend it up if I just had an amazing blender I could eliminate all of these appliances but this was gifted to me and this was gifted to me so I'm not complaining. used to juice that came from the carrot what there's no carrot in here <laughs> they came from the apple and the cucumber just one apple and one cucumber and it gave me that much juice that's almost 16 ounces I believe let me see maybe it's almost 12 yeah it's almost 16 ounces. doing that thing where he licks the floor usually when he see how he's licking frantically licking frantically means he's sick he's licking his cage he's licking everything he's sick which means he ate something again that he wasn't supposed to eat which I'm thinking which I'm thinking this time might have been something that I was juicing with. Because if I drop something, he sits at the floor like a scavenger and then eats it. And then it makes him sick like this. So in due time, he's going to start puking and I'm going to have to clean it all up. Jackson, you got to do better. You got to be smarter than this. So I took the lining and stuff out of his cage so that this time I don't have to clean up two things instead of just one. Because the last time he was sick like this, I went to the vet and the vet said to just let him throw up, but to keep him in the cage so that he can't like walk around the house and throw up everywhere and then not lick everything on the floor because you never know like when you're walking through the house you can bring in gross stuff and my floor is wood so he could lick up some of the gross stuff so she said the best thing to do would be to leave him in his cage but um anyway so these are the greens the spinach and the kale together mixed in um so i'm just gonna take them i've rinsed them off in a calendar Take them and put them in the blender. Wait a minute. Might need to scoot that up a little bit. Okay. See, now that's a whole lot of greens. This is going to be a whole lot of juice. But I want it for tonight and for tomorrow. By tomorrow, I would have drank all of this. So that's that, and now i got to blend it up. And I sometimes put ice inside of mine because when you warm it up, um, I mean, when you blend it up, it heats I don't blend up. mine up with ice cubes because I know that I'm eventually going to, uh, to use it the next day. So I don't want it to be like watered down the next day. Really early and uh, my phone actually died last night, which was an ultimate fail. But the people who needed to reach me, I guess, could reach me through like Facebook. FaceTime and stuff like that on my iPad and then towards the end of the night I remember that I can make my iPad uh, work like my cell phone as far as my iMessage and things like that so I just turned that on and um, I made it through but I don't know why I didn't think about that sooner on I think I had these like slow moments or shoot maybe I didn't want nobody contacting me and just wanted to relax and do what I needed to do last night and get in the bed. So I actually did this round of my brands you want to know on um, a skincare line and um, I'll post a link to that down below. But the name of the skincare is Painted Earth Skincare. And it's pretty much all natural. And it's really amazing. Like, I didn't want to review it without having, like, ample time to test it out. And so I've been using it for about a month now. Y'all, how much I love this stuff is an understatement. Now, I was sent these products for free. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not paid to do a review. I'm not obligated to say I like them. I'm not really supposed to do anything other than try them out and talk about them, which I mean, I do anyway about everything. And I always give you guys the honest truth. So you can't expect anything different this time. But um, I do have to say, I really, really love this stuff. What I've started to notice, and you guys knew that I was going on this path a while back, is I'm trying to go with more organic, more natural products because it seems like when I use, oh shoot, that is the biggest pothole I've ever seen in my life. Um, it seems like when I use products that have like salicylic acid, stuff in that I'm using has any type of chemical in it, it tends to like have me breaking out even more. Um, hang on, I'm getting ready to get some Starbucks really quickly. I know this is like liquid calories, but I need it. Thanks for choosing Starbucks with the loop. My name's Caitlin. What can I get started for you? Um, may I have a grande caramel frappe? And, hmm, 
Actually, I might just have to come inside because I'm not sure what dessert I want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you in time. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so I changed my mind. I I'm trying to figure out what else I want because I have this Starbucks uh, living social deal or is it a Groupon? I can't remember which one it is. But, um, so I have this deal and I want to use it because it's getting ready to expire next month. And I don't really ever go to Starbucks anymore because it's just freaking liquid calories. But today, I kind of am needing the caffeine. So the whole reason I've been using Painted Earth and the whole reason why I'm becoming an avid, um, promoter of I guess like natural products is because I don't have breakouts I don't break out when I use all that stuff for my dermatologist and I use all the stuff with all the chemicals in it it makes my face y'all I swear I'm not making this up it makes my face dependent to where if I stop using it then I start breaking out again but all I had to do is wean myself off of it once and then use good products on my face and I haven't broken out since I had one pimple and that was probably from like hormones. I cheated a little bit and I got a grande caramel frap, <laughs> um, a marble pound cake, and an iced lemon pound cake. Oh my gosh, I haven't had cake in forever, but I'm going to share with my uh, office. I cannot mate. talk today. This is why I need coffee, y'all. I'm so out of it right now. Like, I'm exhausted. We had an R&D like, brainstorming meeting this morning, and those always take the life out of me because you really got to use a lot of brain power. Oh my gosh, I lost an earring. These are my favorite little work earrings. Oh my gosh, please uh, let this be at my job somewhere. Oh, that just saddened me deeply. I don't sleep. Like, I don't I don't sleep. Like, I go to bed at maybe like 12.31 if I'm lucky, and I wake up at 6.30. Like, it's just not... There's just not a lot of hours of, of rest. So, that is why, like, sometimes my body, especially, like, when I go hard in the gym and... You know, it gives me that boost of energy for that little bit of time. And then all the rest of the time after that, I'm just completely exhausted. So, you know, days like today where it's the middle of the week and um, it's starting to hit me that I haven't really had enough sleep and I'm starting to really start to feel it. I need I need caffeine and I normally don't drink caffeine like I can't handle just coffee It has to be like a fruit fruit coffee like this because real coffee makes me sick to my stomach because it's so strong. But this this I can eat because it's not as as horrible but still I mean eat I meant drink let me hurry up and check this because apparently I need it more than I thought I did there is nothing worse than this freaking pinwheel like I'm getting ready to have to take this into uh the apple store to see if they can replace my hard drive or whatever it is that's making this go so slow I haven't even had this computer a year yet and I always transfer my files off of it and onto a like external hard drive. I have a terabyte. And so I don't know why it always goes slow like this. It's clearly finished loading on Final Cut. So why is it going slow? And it's not just Final Cut. Like I can't open or click anything. I've had enough of this freaking computer. I got good news today. It's gonna be a great day, and I cannot wait, cause I got good news today. <laughs> Y'all, I literally sing everything and I make a jingle out of everything, so just ignore me. But um, I was telling you guys that I had some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, the first thing has finally been revealed. I am going to be a speaker on a panel of very well-known, highly amazing, just awesome, credible, cosmetic chemist uh, with the Fab Network in New York City in March. It's on March 13th and it is going to be a panel of cosmetic chemists including myself um, just speaking about you know how to break into the industry what the industry holds and things like that just you know giving our view on um, being a cosmetic chemist. Now I am not a cosmetic chemist right now by uh, like my career is not in cosmetic chemistry I am a polymer chemist and um, I work with a specific sort of polymer and if I told you guys you would definitely be able to figure out where the heck I work not that you could get in because it's on security lockdown but nonetheless I don't want people knowing where I work so I chose not to disclose that but um, I will say though that 
the panel includes uh, people such as, um, let me get this right, Belanda Atis, Atis, I don't want to mess up her name, but um, she's the group leader for Women of Color Initiative at L'Oreal. Say what? Say then what? there's Barbara Joy Mitchell, who is a senior chemist too. Now, I'm a chemist one which is where you start after you've been like a lab tech or a QC tech or something like that. Then if you're lucky, you move up to chemist one. Now what that usually goes is chemist one, chemist two, chemist three, senior chemist one, then senior chemist two. So she's up there, like she knows her stuff. She's credible. She's probably can spit out some of this knowledge with, with her eyes closed while sleeping backwards with her head turned the other way. Like, she probably knows this so well, it's just insane. So, the first two people enough just blew me away. Um, then there's, of course, myself. There's also uh, Nikita Wilson, who's a founder of Skin SkinX.com. SkinX, I'm not sure how to say that. She's also a co cosmetic chemist. And then, last but not least, knocked me off my socks. This truck is trying to ruin my shine, but I'm not gonna let it happen. Last but not least is Ron Robinson. Now he, uh, have you ever heard of Beauty Stat? I know you guys have heard of Beauty Stat. Who the heck loves makeup and blogs and reading and all that kind of stuff as far as makeup and cosmetics are concerned, um, but doesn't know Beauty Stat? Like, you know BeautyStat.com. You know BeautyStat.com. And Ron Robinson is the founder and CEO of Beauty Stat, and he will be on this panel. Y'all, I am not worthy. I am not worthy of these people. Like, they are amazing. Their backgrounds are insane. And I just, I, I, my jaw is lined up was, and I was asked if I would participate in this event. I said yes without thinking twice about it. I didn't care what it would take. I didn't care if I had to ride a freaking broom all the way up to New York to get there. Um, I was going. So I'm going. And and I'm so excited, you guys. I can't even begin to put it into words, but I'm just happy that I can announce it to you. So yay! 